Number 5. Logitech C922X Pro Since the introduction of webcams, Logitech has been the leader of this market segment with its variety of options, which provide excellent performances at great prices that won't break the bank. The Logitech C922X Pro is one of the newest in its lineup and provides an excellent video streaming package to your hands with full HD resolution and excellent frame rates. The rectangular body of the device mounts on top of your monitor or laptop securely with its clip. On the front you'll locate the lens and there are also two stereo microphones there to capture amazing audio. Apart from that you'll also find the Logitech logo and the HT 1080p logo on its all black plastic body. At the bottom of the body you'll locate the tripod hole and the included tripod will extend to about 6 inches in total while providing excellent stability. I tested the camera throughout and I found that the frame rate performance was excellent with the Logitech C922X Pro, providing 60 frames per second in 720p and 30 frames per second at 1080p. It worked relatively well in different light conditions and the sound quality was also pretty respectable. I was extremely impressed with the low light video as its processor immediately activated the low light correction mode that adjusted the camera in a great manner to provide excellent content even in dimly lit rooms. This streamer dedicated package is simply amazing and with its nice set of features delivers amazing value for its asking price. Number 4. GoPro Hero 8 Black As you may know GoPro has produced some fine pieces that make this company one of the best in terms of waterproof and extreme sports cameras. You already know that GoPro always produces great quality, amazing images and many more great features that make this camera very suitable for vlogging too. It has a foldable built-in mount, wind-resistant microphone and new and better software updates that will provide superb qualities. The build quality is very solid and you don't have to worry about the drops and so forth. It's a bit taller than the Hero 7 but it is thinner. I should also mention that the front lens has a Gorilla Glass protection and this version has a big room on the side of the camera that covers the USB-C port, battery and micro SD card. The 12 megapixel camera can produce some extremely nice photos and videos are amazing too. The video resolution can go up to 4K at 60fps with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. The 8x slow motion recording doesn't lose quality and provides nice slow mo shots. The best feature of this camera, in my opinion, is the Hypersmooth 2.0 Plus Boost. This feature delivers great stability, you can run and record and still it'll look very smooth. However, it's not as stable as a gimbal, but it's good enough. It is a little pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it. You can stick with the GoPro Hero 7, but Hero 8 has new great features that are a must for a hardcore user. I'd highly recommend the Hero 8 to anyone who wants one of the best cameras for YouTube and vlogging. Number 3. Sony RX107 if you're in the market for a compact point and shoot camera you're in the right place since the Sony RX107 is one of the most powerful compact cameras in the market without a doubt. It's pretty fast in action, delivers tons of creative freedom, amazing autofocus performance, great build quality, aesthetical design and a wide range of features that you'll fall in love with. So without further ado, let's check it out. The biggest thing going on with this camera is the performance for its size and let me tell you about it. The Sony RX107 is a tiny camera measuring about 4x1.7x2.4 by by inches and weighs about 9.76 ounces in total. However, with that compactness there come some disadvantages such as no hand grip on the camera. But since it's lightweight and you can't change the lens for a heavier one, it's pretty comfortable to hold overall. The Sony RX107 is packed with a great and mighty 20.1 megapixel 1 inch Exmor RS CMOS sensor which will deliver some beautiful photographs. Detail retention is very impressive overall as it delivered some strong images in different scenarios without a doubt. Also the ISO settings were pretty good in the middle of the sensitivity range and it removes noise properly. It's capable of 4K video at 30 frames per second and if you don't need 4K video it can shoot super slow motion up to 960 frames per second. The definite best point and shoot in the market courtesy of Sony. Number 2. Sony ZV-1 Looking for a compact vlogging camera for your YouTube channel? The Sony ZV-1 is the best around. Sony has smartly combined all of the best bits from its various RX100 series cameras and added some handy design tweaks to make a near-perfect pocket camera for video shooters. 
The Sony ZV-1 is a 20 megapixel compact camera geared towards vlogging. It has a new and novel directional microphone next to the flash hot shoe and there's a fully articulated touchscreen display. The ZV-1 shoots in 4K up to 30p and full HD up to 120p and features a 24-70mm equivalent f1.8-2.8 lens. Its best feature is the combination of a bright 24-70mm f1.8-2.8 lens with Sony's real-time tracking and real-time IAF systems. Together, these make it incredibly easy to shoot high-quality vlogs with attractive background blur and unerring focus. A 3.5mm microphone jack means you can also get audio quality that matches the ZV-1's video performance, while a hot shoe lets you mount accessories like a microphone or light without needing extra accessories like a bracket. Naturally, the battery life is pretty average and the stabilisation isn't quite gimbal smooth, but in every other respect this is the smartphone beating camera that vloggers have been waiting for. The ZV-1 is a solid option for vloggers and photographers looking for a compact camera with a fast lens and a great video and still image quality. Number 1. Panasonic Lumix GH5 This one is a compact rangefinder style camera that in many ways is exceptionally well suited for vlogging, street and travel photographers. It has many great features and is well suited for vlogging, amateur photographing and so on. The electronic OLED viewfinder with 2.7 million dots that sits on the top rear part of the body looks great, while on the right you can find a 3-inch tilt-angle touchscreen with up to 1.24 million dots that'll let you have a crystal-clear sight of everything you wish to record. When it comes to the performance, this model comes in with a nice 20.3 megapixel high-resolution MOS sensor, along with three-dimensional colour control to detect saturation, brightness, hue and so on. I should also mention that the live viewfinder view comes with 2760K dots high resolution, 80 degrees with nearly 100% colour reproduction, and also this unit packs 4K technology including 4K 30 pixels video, 4K live crop, and 4K photo burst with a new light composition mode to capture perfect moments. All these features are the reason why this camera produces a perfect quality image. To sum up, I would also like to mention that this unit is great for everyday shooting and video recording, which is a good choice for a traveller's camera. Also, users can enjoy blur-free photo or video shooting from wide to tall, even in low-light situations. It's a premium-looking camera that has many great features, and it's perfect for vlogging, so you should take a look at this one. Buying Guide Firstly, ergonomics. This is an understated element of cameras. If at all possible, try before you buy. Make sure a camera fits comfortably in your hand and that it's not so heavy that you don't want to carry it around with you. The camera you buy should offer quick accessibility to the most commonly used functions and menus should be simply structured, logical and easy to learn. Secondly, sensor size. As far as picture quality and exposure flexibility are concerned, and these are the main reasons people buy SLR cameras, the most important criteria are the size of the sensor and the size of each photo site on it. The larger the photosite surface area, the more light it can capture and the more information it can record. The more information that goes to the camera's image processor, the greater the dynamic or tonal range in the resulting image and the better the picture quality. The differences are most obvious in shots taken in bright, contrasty conditions and in dim lighting. In bright lighting, the small sensors of compact digicams cannot record details in the brightest and darkest areas. And thirdly, lenses. Lenses are the most important part of every camera. They are handy when taking wide-angle or closer macro images. There's no need to use housing if you're using a point-and-shoot camera so that you can use different lenses for different kinds of shots. However, if you're buying a DSLR, then you need to buy lenses that are compatible with your camera brand.